Hi there, welcome to another in our series of short videos looking at chains of reasoning as a way of improving your analysis marks in your economics papers. We'll take a topic in business economics this time. It's called the principal agent problem. The agency problem in a nutshell is that there's a possible conflict of interest uh, or conflict of objectives between the shareholders of a business, they're called the principals, and the management of a firm, they're called the agents. Indeed, often the shareholders cannot observe day to day the key decisions that managers are making. And it's costly and difficult to watch over managers the whole time. And that's a problem, particularly if managers have different objectives than the owners. So how can we overcome this? Well, the key to this is to think about the principal agent problem and how we can overcome it. Here's our question. Explain how a business might overcome this problem. We're looking for, for simple, clean and clear chains of reasoning. I'll go through two with you in this video. So one way to overcome the agency problem, because that's linking back to the question, is to provide employee share ownership schemes. There's your point made. And then you apply with an example, for example, the John Lewis partnership model. Now, here's the connective phrase that helps build the chain. The effect of this might be to improve the incentives for employees, including managers, to increase their productivity and help the business make higher profits. So here's two links in a particular chain. It's not a long chain. You're making your point with a good example. You're giving, uh, making the point and applying it. And then you're linking to a little bit of theory about improving incentives for employees. You're putting in a concept such as productivity and profit to add to the substance. An alternative approach could be to offer long-term employment contracts for senior managers. So this is a sec second point. But you then need to reason the answer. You don't need to spend a long time on it, but there needs to be some reasoning to avoid assertion. This might help, uh, might help them to make decisions more in tune with the long-term strategic objectives of the business, be it innovation, market share, long-term growth, etc. So this is what we mean by chains of reasoning. The, the word I would uh, encourage you to use a lot in economics is the word might. We're not being asked to evaluate uh, issues to do with the principal agent problem. We're asked to explain here. But the might sends a subliminal message to the examiners. There's always a lot of uncertainty in economic analysis. Share ownership schemes can work, but sometimes they can also have uh, unintended consequences. And uh, it could be the case there might be better alternatives to the two that I've mentioned here. But that's really for your evaluation. The key here, I hope you can take away the point from this short video, is that we're looking to try to build clear chains of reasoning to help build our analysis. And that's a really strong way of getting great marks in your second year papers.